<clears throat> Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy designer Ash back for another video. In today's video, if you read by the title, we finna hop into how to get a thousand views a day as a small YouTuber, you dig? Essentially, bro, I just wanted to show y'all how to get a thousand views, you know what I'm saying, a, a day. Like literally, I just wanted to show y'all how to get a thousand views a day and show you how actually simple it is once you understand the processes of YouTube. So uh, if you wanna be able to have this on your channel and this on your channel and you just seeing green arrows everywhere with subscribers and views going up, bro, uh, make sure you watch all the way to the end because I'm gonna be dropping sauce the entire video. So let's get into it. All right, so first, um, it's, all right. Look, everybody pretty much says the same shit on YouTube. I'm not bullshitting you. Everybody says the same shit on YouTube. And that shit is not the truth. I'ma just keep it above. Everybody always preaching consistency. Bro, consistency will not just get you there. I'ma be honest, consistency will not just get you there. I don't know why everybody says just post every day. That's not true, bro. I'm going to just be honest. That shit's not true. I'm, I'm a person who's been there and has posted countless videos in a month. You know what I'm saying? I won't say every day. I've never just posted every day, but I've definitely been consistent on YouTube. And personally, that has not translated views for me. I personally feel like the content is good. You know what I'm saying? I might be biased because, I mean, I created it. But I feel like it's good content for what it is. You get what I'm saying? Like, it might not be the greatest content, but, I mean, for a big YouTuber versus my content, they're arguably similar. You feel me? I would say consistency is not true. Because, I mean, I can even show you, I've posted videos about how to make a blueberry smoothie. I've posted videos on shopping and getting Yeezys. I've posted everything that you can damn near put under an umbrella. I posted enough variety on my channel to pretty much play around and see what gets views, what doesn't get views. And that's all due to search terms honest to god like seo is huge on youtube if you really want to grow on youtube it's about seo and finding something that's gonna grab onto that seo and like propel you feel what i'm saying so i would say that videos with high searchability have been my biggest view bringer enters which kind of makes sense i'm gonna break that down for you so essentially tags is one of the biggest drivers in SEO. Tags, titles, and thumbnail. I'd say that much. Tags, titles, and thumbnail will take your channel much further than being consistent ever will. If you got a very quality thumbnail like this, you know what I'm saying, versus, you know, a booty thumbnail like this, that, you know what I'm saying, might definitely sway some clicks. You dig what I'm saying? Like, definitely. Like people, I mean, you, you're, you you clicked on my video. What made you click on my video? You see what I'm saying? It was a thumbnail and the title. It wasn't anything else. I made you guys click on my video because of how good the thumbnail was and how it stood out from other thumbnails. Even if I wasn't the first video you clicked on, you definitely still clicked on it to learn. You see what I'm saying? Because you feel like, hey, maybe he has something to say that differs from this person or this person or whatever. You get what I'm saying? Thumbnails are very important. High quality thumbnails are very important. That only doesn't matter when you're big. You get what I'm saying? Keep in mind, thumbnails. Number two, tags. Tags will take you so, 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 so far. I promise you, it will take you so far. So with tags, you wanna be able to make sure that the tags line up with the title of your video. We'll get to title next, that, that's number three as well. But you wanna make sure that the tags line up with your title and what's going on in your video. Like me for instance, this video is about how to get a thousand views in a day, right? Which I will be showing you guys. Well, how to get a thousand views in a day as a small YouTuber. So that means your tags should be 
How to get a thousand views in a day. How to get a thousand views in 24 hours. How to get a thousand views on a video. How to grow as a small YouTuber. How to get views as a small YouTuber. Are you following me? No, you're just tagging all those different, all those different ways that people would actually search. Think about you being a searching person on YouTube. What would you type in if it's related to your video? And that's what you should tag, literally. And do as many as possible. It's 500 limit, character limit, get to like 490, 495. Like every single tag literally matters. Another great tool to use with the tags is TubeBuddy. I'm not joking, this is a hack. You can actually use TubeBuddy to see where your video tags rank your video. For instance, uh, my, my biggest video right now is I have the new unreleased Drake album, Certified Lover Boy, leaked. You know what I'm saying? That's the title. No cap. So I went in and I tagged Certified Lover Boy, Unreleased Drake album, New Drake album, Unreleased Drake album. I'm talking about write this shit in as many different ways that somebody could possibly search it. Literally, that is the answer. Like you can see this. Drake leaked songs, leaked Drake songs, Certified Lover Boy leak, Certified Lover Boy Drake. Unreleased Drake songs. Unreleased Drake songs in 2020. Unreleased Drake songs in 2021. And so on and so forth. You get what I'm saying? Because tags will literally be your best friend. That title is important, but tags will literally propel it to all those, all those searches that could fall under that umbrella of your title. So that that's bigger than your title, in my opinion. Now, third, title is super crazy. You know what I'm saying? The title is definitely super crazy important because it's the first thing people see you feel what i'm saying well i feel like thumbnail is the first thing people see but title is definitely number two because it reinforces your thumbnail like significantly they're they kind of like tit for tat so you got to make sure your title good and that thumbnail is good and they're in line with each other and if they say very similar things that's also very good for youtube seo because it just picks it all up once you take all those steps and you mix them together i'm gonna show you the results all right so again with that drake album i probably released that about a week week and a half ago oh that video it went crazy like almost immediately all right this is like the first couple of minutes of it being posted i'm gonna throw the screenshot up right here all right so you see that 14 views nothing crazy nothing crazy at all right within an hour it was at 84 views. You get what I'm saying? Still, nothing crazy. You wouldn't expect too much, you did. But within five hours, it was at 222 views. I mean, 227 views, which is shooting up. You did what I'm saying? It's really starting to, you know, go up like. It's, it's really starting to shoot up. You know what I'm saying? My videos don't do that. I'm, I have 691 subscribers today. You know what I'm saying? So it started to shoot up, literally. With And I normally get around 50 or so views my first day. That's probably like my max. If it's like just a regular vlog or something, it'll be about 50 views. So for that to already have 227 within five hours of me posting it, you dig? That's a lot of views for a small YouTuber. Then within that next hour, it was at 295. So it's it's just shooting. You see what I'm saying? It's just shooting. Every every hour it's shooting almost a hundred views. Within another like hour and a half-ish, because I just want to do this in real time to show y'all guys exactly how it was shooting up in real time. I didn't want to show y'all the analytics after, you know what I mean? I want to show you guys. The analytics in real time so a couple of hours went by after that it was about an hour and a half it was already at 423 views that is ridiculous like it hasn't even been a whole day it's been like eight hours in total you see what i'm saying i posted the video around one o'clock ish uh and it was around 9 50 when this was sitting at 400 and something views not even 24 hours it's been you know half a day checked back late late that night it was uh, around 12 o'clock 
and it was at 554 views. So let's just say, so from one o'clock to 12 o'clock, it's about 11 hours, right? In 11 hours, it had 544 views. That is literally ridiculous. And my whole channel had 670 views. You see what I'm saying? So that means out of 500 and well, not my whole channel, my whole channel for the last 48 hours had 670 views. Let me clarify. I woke up that next morning and it was literally just still going up. At night, this thing got like 120, 140 extra views because I woke up around six in the morning, just wanted to check the YouTube and it was at 686 views. That's crazy. Like to me, that's crazy. That's crazy. Still not within 24 hours. It's six in the morning. Keep that in mind. You see what I'm saying? It's not 24 hours till it hits one o'clock, right? So boom, it's eight o'clock, eight in the morning, and it's at 742 views. It's still shooting up. It's shooting up 60, 70 views every hour. Literally, it's just 60, 70, 80, 100 views, right? But then. It started to really take off after that. So at 11.47, it was at 842 views. And then, look at my channel, real-time views though. It's at 970, and you see how, look at my watch time. The watch time has shot up tremendously. My views have shot up tremendously because now my channel has very close to 1,000 views in 48 hours, you feel what I'm saying? So like, but that one video in less than 24 hours has 842 views and it's only 11. Remember, keep in mind, I posted this at one the previous day. So now it's very, 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 very close to one o'clock, essentially around the time that I posted it and it hit 888 views, a thousand views for the last 48 hours. You know what I'm saying? Which is cool. I've never seen my channel have a thousand views in 48 hours literally that's just my personal channel and i've had and i have videos in the thousands as you can see but that's over time and seo so keep in mind seo is very important also keep this in mind this video well these terms are being widely searched right now because drake has not dropped his certified lover boy album and he's been teasing it over the months. People have been looking for this, like the release and the album for those whole months. And especially in the new year, people are definitely gonna be looking for it because it hasn't dropped yet. And you know, you would expect a Drake drop in the new year if he hasn't dropped it in the old year, you're gonna be looking for that release date. You know what I'm saying? So people are gonna be searching, people are gonna be looking for their songs, people are gonna be looking for the album. And that's why it was shooting up as quickly as it was. After one o'clock, it had, it's at 955 views. That is ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot of views for one video in just a little bit over 24 hours. And my channel, for the last 48 hours, have seen 1,100 views. So my channel is doing very well at this point. Uh, people are clicking on other videos. Uh, the watch time is at 2,000. My view duration is actually very low. Uh, typically, because this video is 15 minutes, you typically want that to be at least 50%. So that would have been about, about seven minutes, uh, seven minutes, 30 seconds, somewhere in there. That's what you at least want for YouTube to like really, really propel. Like if I would have had about seven minute um, view duration, I'd probably have 100,000 views on that video and not uh, 7,000. You get what I'm saying? It would literally be at probably 100,000 right now. But I had a couple of technical difficulties with uploading that video, it was some copyrights and things like that. So that's why it wasn't shooting off as fast as it could have because I couldn't play the full songs. I had to speed them up and just other issues. Um, but you can't be mad at small successes either. Every success is a good success. So then boom, I am at 1,000 views at four o'clock. 422 is when I hit 1,000 views. Uh, and that's uh, it's like 26 hours later. It hit 1,000 views in essentially 26 hours, just a little bit over a day. Might be a little clickbait on this video, but it's not bad. And I'm gonna uh, wrap this up really quickly. I uh, essentially just wanted to tell you, after a certain point, as you can see from this screenshot, my video 
was doing so well. Uh, this is probably like, uh, I don't even know. So after that point, my video was doing pretty well. At a certain point, uh, this is a, like another day uh, screenshot, like another 24 hours is about. So this is about 48 hours in. Uh, it propelled my channel to doing two, over 2,000 views in 48 hours, which is 1,000 views a day on the channel for consecutive days. I'm still doing about a thousand views a day on my channel uh, just from that video and other videos doing a little bit better. That video itself had almost 2,000 views and my channel had just a little bit over that. So I mean you can tell that that video is definitely driving a lot of traffic to my channel and you can do the same thing if you just follow those steps. The SEO tags, title, and thumbnails. I'm not joking. That will get you very far and make sure you're talking to the camera very well make sure you're in like you're, you know just make sure you you got you 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 here with the people you know what i'm saying just make sure you're there with the people and i promise you as a small youtuber you won't be small for long and you'll start to go up because i'm gonna go up road to 1000 subscribers uh if you like this video please like comment subscribe and you can always go over, follow me on Instagram at my designer ass, and I'll be regularly posting, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, gang, gang, see you again if y'all come back to the channel. So much love. Thank you. Yeah, I know, you know, I ain't never going broke. My pockets getting swole like Sylvester Style on. It's just a cocaine like I'm Pablo Esco. My diamonds keep bossing and my flows is off the rope. She says she won't love, but I ain't going down that road. Bitch, I'm too young for the Cupid, don't be stupid. I'm just trying to fuck one, time to keep it moving. This shit call me trifling, not the first I heard that line in my movie.